right, I'm uh, set up in the stand finally. It's been raining all day long, literally all day since two in the morning. It's like 3.30, something like that, and it uh, finally stopped raining, so I'm in the stand. I don't want to complain about the rain because we needed it for sure, but um, first time in this stand, it's a river bottom road crossing that it's a big chunk of timber and they cross using this creek. You know, they have, when they build houses, they gotta, they can only build so close to streams and stuff like that. So a little strip of woods that they used to cross in and out. And after sitting here for the first time, which is right now, um, I don't like it. It's supposed to be a dead north wind this afternoon. It should be blowing this way, but because of the steep valleys to my right and the steep, the steep valley behind me, it's swirling so bad. It's actually uh, blowing almost dead south. So I sprayed the crap out of dead downwind. I mean, I'm like wet from dead downwind. I put so much on and I made a couple mock scrapes. I had one going, no bucks coming to it yet. And then I made another one just to kind of hopefully help with my scent. So having a good year I'm trying not to uh, get too crazy and too gung-ho and hunt with it when everything's right and I've sat three times so far this year and seen two deer um, so I'll take that for hunting in Maine but it's expanded hunting so everything could be perfect and a person could come walking by with their dog or you just you just never know pretty inconsistent hunting here really um, but like I said you never know I do have daylight trail cam pictures of does walking through here, so if a doe comes by, I'm putting the DEFCON 6 to work. I've never ever spined an animal before in my life. Three does come in. I shot the, the lead doe, which was the biggest doe. I literally just got done grunting. I grunted three times. Nothing super aggressive, just three soft grunts. And I have a dead deer on the ground. Defcon's, oh, I can't even talk. I'm out dry again. Obsession bows. First, kill with the obsession bow that was my fourth kill with the same exact black eagle arrow first deer with a ram cat tanks she worked up a little bit high on the ridge I know I have her on camera but I don't think it's it's not awesome I'm self-filming what, what can you do I guess but holy cow just like that it can happen just like that she got to where my camera was and got super, super spooky. And I was in such kill mode at that point in time. That's four sits and I've seen deer three times and I just killed the doe and I'm jacked. Just got down. This is probably gonna be really grainy and focus is probably gonna be crappy and it's pretty dark, but we'll go take a look at it real quick and then 
We'll go get my wife and some lights and I think I got some friends over so we'll all probably come out and they'll help me drag. I can hear those other two deer up there still but she obviously went nowhere. I made a bad shot. I don't want to ever do that again. Oh man, she's beautiful. Oh gosh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's done. <laughs> there she is. Not a big doe. None of them are very big. I, the other two might have actually been lambs, but um, they were not very big either way. But I'll set this down and we'll get a better look at her real quick. Here she is, first kill ever with an obsession bow. I couldn't be happier. Um, obviously I spined it, nobody ever wants to do that, but I was lucky enough to get another uh, black eagle into her. So um, I'm not gonna really talk much because there's not a whole lot to say. She kind of came in, as soon as she hit my wind drift, which was supposed to be blowing out of the north, was actually blowing out of the south. Um, she got real nervous, but thanks to dead down wind, she couldn't really get me pinned exactly and gave me enough time to get a shot off. So um, worked out perfect. So I got my buddies here. Got my wife behind camera. We're going to uh, put the outdoor edge to work and get her out of here and go eat some deer meat. <laughs>